Friend too. <laughs> I'm Susie Sheep Bear, and I'm Peppa's best friend. <laughs> I'm Freddy Fox, and I love riding my bike. I'm Rebecca Rabbit, and I love eating carrots. <laughs> I'm Danny Dog, and I love going on boats. I'm Federal Pony. <laughs> I'm a superhero. <laughs> I'm LMA Elephant. And this is my little brother, Edmund. And I'm a clever club. <laughs> Hello. 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 I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig? Well, we had better get ready. Can everyone wash their face? Yeah. You join in too. Wash, wash, wash your face. Wash it nice and clean. Scrubbly, bubbly, bubbly, scrubbly. Till it's nice and clean. Wash, wash, wash your face. Wash it nice and clean. Scrubbly, bubbly, bubbly, scrubbly. Till it's nice and clean. Everyone ready? Brush your hair like this. Brush, brush, brush your hair. Make it nice and smart. Smoothy, shiny, curly, whirly. Now you're looking smart. Brush, brush, brush your hair. Make it nice and smart. Smoothy, shiny, curly, whirly. Now you're looking smart. Very smart. Ready? Well, Peppa, shall we go cool like this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 good idea. taking Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love little, little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, yes Daddy Pig! Pig. This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs. Badger, the farmer. Hello. Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands. That's right. <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly. <laughs> I 
I love bubbles. And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. <coughs> here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, please. OK. Have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens! Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me. Oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs. Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever, and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <laughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. All aboard, we're off to the zoo. Ding, ding. Bing, bong, bing. Bong, bing, bing. We're all going to the zoo. <laughs> bing, bong, bing. Bong, bing, bing. We're all going to the zoo. Do you? Bus driver? Yeah! Everyone <laughs> loves being the bus driver. You join in too. Bing bong bing, bong bing bing. We're all going to the zoo. <laughs> bing bong bing, bong bing bing. We're all going to the zoo. <laughs> ding ding, this is the zoo stop. Can we see the animals? <laughs> Penguins. Can you waddle like a penguin? Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, boom. I'm a penguin at the zoo. Bing, bong, bing, bong, And bing, jump boom. for fish. I'm a penguin at the zoo. Yum, yum. Look, crocodiles. Crocodiles. Can you snap like a crocodile? Bing, bong, bing. Yeah. 
and you flutter like a butterfly. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bing. And collect nectar with your tongue. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bing. I'm a butterfly at the zoo. There are so many animals at the zoo. Which one will you pretend to be? I'm a parrot. Quack, quack. I'm a quack. Pinch, 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 pinch. I'm a chicken. <laughs> I'm a frog. Ribby, ribby. I'm a duck. I'm a monkey. <laughs> well done, everyone. That's the whole zoo. Bing, bong, bing. George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Bird spotting. It is a lovely sunny day at Peppa's house. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to visit. Hello, everyone. I like your funny hat, Grandpa. Thank you, Peppa. Today I'm doing a bit of bird spotting. It's bird spotting. It's Grandpa's latest little hobby. I suppose it keeps him happy. Uh, yes. I look for birds, and when I spot them, I tick them off in my book. Look, this is a robin redbreast. I spotted one in my garden. Ooh. Of course, what I'd love to spot is a very rare bird, like a cuckoo. Never mind, Grandpa. I'm sure you will one day. Yes. In fact, I was um, actually hoping to do a bit of bird spotting before lunch, if that's okay. No problem. Lunch won't be ready for ages. Grandpa, can George and me go bird spotting too? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll call you when lunch is ready. The best place to spot birds is where there are trees. Birds like trees. Um, but there aren't any birdies here, Grandpa. Ah, but I know a clever trick. We pretend to be a bird. <whistles> then hopefully a bird will hear our call and fly here. Look, Grandpa, a birdie. Ah, yes, that is a sparrow. A good start. Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. Ah, Grandpa Pig. I see you're doing some bird spotting. Yes. Us too. We've just spotted one of our rarest birds in the world. A ribbon-tailed bird of paradise. Amazing to find one this far north. Well done. I spotted a sparrow. Oh, yes. A common sparrow. Well done, you. See you later. Bye. Now, um, let's do some more bird calls. I can do a duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's a duck in my book. Mrs. Duck must be in your book. She is very special. Of course she is. <laughs> ah, here we go. A duck. And George can do a pigeon. Do your pigeon, George. Look, Grandpa, pigeons. Uh, they seem to have left pigeons out of my book. What are you doing, Grandpa Pig? Spotted any rare birds? Um, we saw a duck and some pigeons. Uh, and I have high hopes of spotting a cuckoo. Peppa, George, Grandpa, lunch is ready. Oh, goody. Bye. A cuckoo, you say? How were you planning on spotting a cuckoo? Oh, you know, uh, I was just going to call cuckoo. <laughs> My goodness, it worked. Well done, old chap. Cuckoo. <laughs> it's inside the house. Oh, that is not a real cuckoo. That is Peppa's toy cuckoo clock. Sorry to barge in like this, but Grandpa Pig has heard a cuckoo. 
You're in here somewhere. But, Grandpa... Quiet, everyone. We don't want to scare the cuckoo away. Ah! Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. That means I can't tick it off in my book. But, Grandpa, my cuckoo clock is very special. It certainly is. I think you should tick it off. I would if it was me. Uh, what does everyone else think? Strictly speaking, it's... OK. If everyone thinks it's fair... <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bird spotting. Everybody loves bird spotting. <laughs> Let's all go spotting like Grandpa Pig. What can you spot? Ooh, what's that? Could it be a snake? What do you think it is? Hmm, that's funny. Something red. What could it be? It's a balloon! Of course, it's a balloon! What else can you spot? That looks interesting. Could it be a leaf? No, wait. There's something else. Hmm. It's a bit curly-whirly. Could that be a snail? Can you see what it is? It's a party blower! Of course, a party blower. Now what can you spot? Is that something with hair? Or is it a claw, perhaps? It's got a pointy end... ...and yellow spots on a red background. Hmm... What can it be? It's a party hat! It is Daddy Pig wearing a party hat. Can you spot anything else? What's this? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No! It's Sister By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Super Potato Movie! Peppa and George are going to see the Super Potato Movie at the cinema. Super Potatoes, get your Super Potatoes here! Ooh, could we get a Super Potato, please, Daddy? Is it made of plastic, Mr Fox? It's better than that. It's made of potato. Made of potato? Yes, it's a potato. Well, in that case, I'd have two, please. Would everyone please take their seats? The film is about to start. Ooh. Now, does anyone need to go to the toilet? No, no Mummy Pig. Pig. Good, then let's go in. This is the cinema where the film will be shown. Hello, Rebecca. I've got Super Potato. I've got Mrs. Carrot. Help! Save me, Super Potato. <laughs> Super Potato, to the rescue! <laughs> Shush, Pepper. The film is about to start. Super Potato, the movie! Hooray! Far away, in the land of fruit and vegetables, there is a problem. We need a rescue! Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone call my name? Hooray! By the power of vegetables, I am here! You're my hero! Hooray! Mommy, I need the toilet! Okay, come on then. Sorry, excuse us. Miss mm. Rabbit is in the projector room. Is this the toilet? No, Peppa, this is the projector. What's a projector? It's the machine that shows the film you're watching. See? Oh, yes! There's Super Potato! <laughs> 
I get to watch Super Potato six times a day. Wow! I wish I was a superhero. You are a superhero to us, Miss Rabbit. You do all the important jobs. Yes, I have just cleaned the toilets. You'll find them down the corridor on your left. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hurry up. Mrs. Carrot's about to be rescued again. Someone call for Super Potato! Super Potato! Super Potato! Did someone say my name? I am on my way! Hooray! What's happening now? Mrs. Carrot got stuck in the mud. By the power of vegetables, I am here! You're my hero! Yay! to be a super potato when I grow up. Here comes the song bit. Oh. <laughs> Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the stage, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am actually here! Did you enjoy the movie, children? Yes! Show us how you fly! How do I fly? Like this! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! Oh dear, Super Potato is stuck in the cinema roof. Help! Call for Super Potato! That is Super Potato! Quick! Call for Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit. Rabbit! Did someone call my name? Help! Oh! I'm on my way! Yay! Help! Help! Miss Rabbit to the rescue! Help! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has rescued Super Potato! Wow! When I grow up, I want to be Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit, you are my hero. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is a superhero. <laughs> Do you know what Pepper loves doing best? Jumping in muddy puddles. That's right. Pepper loves jumping in muddy puddles. We all love jumping in muddy puddles. Joining the bus. Jump in a puddle together, jump in a puddle together, jump in a puddle together, and all the puddles are fun. It is George. Everybody roar together with George. Roar together, roar together, roar It is Daddy Pig. What is he doing? Everybody stretch together with Daddy Pig. Stretch together, stretch together, stretch together, but stretching together is fun. It is Miss Rabbit. What does she do? Everything! Join in with us. Helicopter flying and deep sea diving and fire. Almost lunchtime at Peppa's house. What does everyone fancy for lunch today? Um, can we have pizza? Pizza, pizza! Good idea. Let's make pizza. Ho, ho! I'm a bit of an expert at making pizza. Can George and me help? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to make pizza, we need flour, tomatoes, cheese, 
And for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn. Mushrooms. Olives. Pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah, pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash our hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean. And put our aprons on. <laughs> right. Let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza. Pepper, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> And George is big and strong, too. <laughs> okay, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three, four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. Hoopla! <laughs> Daddy has a pizza on his head. Oh, oh, this one can be mine. <laughs> Pepper, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. <laughs> I like making pizza. It's lovely and messy. <laughs> Good. That's enough smoothing and splashing. Now for the cheese. Remember, Daddy, we're making funny faces. Of course. I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. And I'll use onion for eyes and basil leaves for the mouth. I'm doing little tomatoes for the eyes and sweet corn for the mouth. George is using pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the mouth. <laughs> I like funny faces. While they cook, we can tidy up all this mess. Um, you and Mummy can tidy up, and George and I can do some playing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pepper and George like playing. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig like tidying up. <laughs> Pepper! George! Lunch is ready! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! Your pizza looks like you. Oh, thank you very much. And your pizza looks like you, Daddy. It looks nothing like me. <laughs> I must say, your pizza does look like you, Pepper. Does it? Oh, goody. And George's looks like George. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best pizzas in the world. Ever. Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Strawberries. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Come and see the strawberries I've grown. Grandpa Pig has spent days and days growing strawberries. I think you will be impressed. Perhaps we can make some strawberry jam. Yes, please. Pepper and George <laughs> love strawberry jam. <laughs> May I present my strawberry? One strawberry? You've grown one strawberry? It will be the best tasting strawberry ever. Why is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? It is hiding because the cheeky little birds have eaten all the rest. Ah, 
Ah! Uh, you cheeky bird. So now there are no strawberries. And we won't make jam. We can still make jam. I know a place that has lots of strawberries. <laughs> it's a strawberry farm. Ooh. So that's where we will go. This is the strawberry farm. Hello there. Have you come to pick strawberries? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing here but strawberries. Wow! So many strawberries. Pick as many as you like. <laughs> here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello. Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry, do see red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. Mmm, scrumptious. But remember, everyone, we're here to collect strawberries to take home and make jam. Put them in your baskets and try not to eat too many. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Pig! I'll just have one last one. <laughs> I suppose one more won't hurt. Naughty Granny! Naughty Grandpa! Right you are, Pepper. This really is the very last one. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Hello, birdies. Have you come to eat the strawberries? The little birds do not want to eat the strawberries. Perhaps they have just eaten too many, Peppa. <coughs> yes, I think I've eaten too many. Oh. Peppa's basket is full. George's basket is full. Granny and Grandpa's baskets are empty. Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? Oh, in our tummies. <coughs> Maybe it's time to go home. Here is Danny Dog with his mummy and daddy. They have just arrived at the strawberry farm. Hello, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Danny. Look at all these strawberries. Oh, don't say that word. What? Strawberries? Oh. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. I see you've picked a lot of strawberries. Oh. Where's the way out? The way out is just through the gift shop. What do you sell in your shop, Miss Rabbit? Strawberry cake, strawberry cookies, strawberry cheese, strawberry juice, strawberry sweets, strawberry... Anything without strawberries? Uh, no. I think we've had our fill of strawberries, thank you. Funny, no one ever buys anything from this shop. <coughs> Rabbit, look at how many strawberries we picked. <coughs> well done, Pepper and George. Now we can make strawberry jam. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberries. Everyone loves strawberries. <laughs> that balloon has come from the children's festival. Pepper and George are going to the children's festival. Shall we all go? Yeah! Join in with us. We are going to the children's festival. Festival. We are going to the children's festival. Festival. We are going to the children's. Going to the children's. We are going to the children's festival.
Brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Children's Festival. Peppa is going to a children's festival. Daddy, what is a festival? It's a big outdoor party with lots to see and do. I just hope it doesn't rain, otherwise it can get a bit muddy. Don't worry, it won't be muddy. Oh, I like mud. This is the children's festival. Wow! <laughs> Welcome to the festival! At the Children's Festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Isn't this great? It's brilliant. There's so much going on. What shall we do first? We've got making things, sandcastles, storytelling. Yes, I like stories. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story tent. All of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, children. If you want a story about a pirate, say, Aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. We must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just a story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Oh, oh, I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. This way to the making things tent. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, we're going to learn how to make something from the olden days. Who wants to make a basket? Hmm. Okie dokie. How about knitting an olden day's hat? How about a dragon? Me, me, me. All the children are making dragons. <laughs> wow, those dragons are good. Almost like the real thing. Dragons are not real. They are mythical creatures. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Actually, the correct term is child prodigy. <laughs> Making things was fun. And we've still got lots to see and do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are we staying here tonight? We certainly are. Yes, I was hoping we could find a hotel nearby, but... I thought camping would be more fun. Yay! Camping! Great. <laughs> This is the camping area. Hello! Hello, Peppa. Are you camping too? We're not camping, we're glamping. What's glamping? It's like camping, but with lots of home comforts. We've got a bathroom with a basin and a bath and a toilet. <laughs> and we've got a living room. And a TV! Wow! wow. Glamping looks great. Daddy, are we glamping? No, we have our own little tent. Hopefully, it's not too difficult to put up. It shouldn't be a problem. After all, I am a qualified structural engineer. Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Hooray! Are you enjoying the festival? It's brilliant. Yes, and it's lucky it hasn't rained. Too right. When it rains, this field just becomes mud. We like mud. But mud and camping don't go so well together. Ho, ho! It's not going to rain. Night, night, everyone. Night, night. night. Peppa and her family are sleeping in their little tent at the children's festival. Oh dear, it is starting to rain. Muddy festival. Peppa and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. <laughs> What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? 
Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So much mud. <laughs> yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sand castles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh. We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm. What's best to paint with mud? I know. A muddy puddle. <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. <laughs> Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <gasps> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. <gasps> OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! Then jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello! to dance. Yeah. Yeah. Loves the muddy festival. Everyone loves the muddy festival. Thank you. 
and Brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. TV Land. Peppa and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato. Me too. Super Potato is the best. Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Always remember to eat your five. We've seen this before. I know all the words by heart. Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. OK, let's go to TV land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children, and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow! Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes! Very good. Follow me. potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. ...sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us alive. alive. Always, Always remember to eat your five. five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course. Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day. Hundreds and hundreds of times. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. <laughs> Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Can you remember all the words forever? Yes! You join in too! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive Always remember to eat your five Very good!
good. What about the grown-ups? Oh, yes, grown-ups. Do you remember all the words? Let's hear you. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Fantastic. Now can everybody count our fruit and vegetables? One, two, three, Count them again. One, two, three, four, five. All together now. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Roman Day. Peppa and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. They are painting pictures of Polly Parrot. My goodness, what lovely paintings, Peppa and George. <laughs> Look at my pretty picture, Polly. <laughs> pretty picture, Polly? <laughs> <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. I'll put them up here for Granny Pig to see when she gets home. But where is Granny Pig? Oh, she's just out playing with her friends. <laughs> here is Granny Pig with her friends. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Have you had a nice morning? Yes, thank you, Granny. Why are you wearing funny clothes? We have been doing historical reenactment. What's historical reenactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <coughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> 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 now what do we do? We march around saying, Veni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means anyone for another cup of tea. No. <laughs> it means I came I saw, I conquered. Benny Vidi Vici. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. Did they? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Here we are. Lots of coloured pebbles. <laughs> George, what shall we make a picture of? Dinosaur. Good idea, George. You find the green pebbles for the dinosaur. <laughs> and I will find blue pebbles and make a lovely sky. Pepper and George are making a Roman mosaic of a dinosaur. George adds some green pebbles. <laughs> Peppa adds some blue pebbles. George, the red ones can be the eyes. <laughs> Finished! Well done, Peppa and George. My word, you've got rather muddy. <laughs> Time for a bath before Mummy and Daddy Pig come to pick you up. No! Oh dear, George does not want to have a bath. But George, the Romans were very good at having baths. 
And you're a Roman, aren't you? Yes, George. Let's have a Roman bath. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are having a Roman bath. <laughs> it's Mummy and Daddy. Here are Mummy and Daddy Pig. Ah, Tempus Fugit. What does that mean? It means time flies. Tempus Fugit. Ah, Tempus Fugit. <laughs> Tempus Fugit. <laughs> Hello. Mummy, Daddy, we've been playing Romans. <laughs> Tempus Fugit. Ooh. And with these crowns of leaves, you are both Roman emperors. Hooray! Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans. Everybody loves being Romans. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grandpa Pig's birthday. Pepper and her family are dressed in their very best clothes. <laughs> Today is Grandpa Pig's birthday. A party, a party, we're going to a party. You know, it's not really a party, Pepper. What do you mean? It's just a nice, quiet meal in a restaurant on Grandpa Pig's birthday. And you haven't been to a restaurant before, have you? No. So that will be fun, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the restaurant. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> we can sit here. No, Pepper, come back. Why? We have to be shown to our table by the waiter. <clears throat> have you booked a table? We're with Grandpa Pig. Please, uh, follow me. Hello. 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 Are you here for the party? Shush, Pepper. These people are having their own meals. And remember, it's not really a party. Oh. Peppa! George! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes. We made it ourselves. It's lovely. But it's sad it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Peppa. <laughs> I think Grandpa would rather have a nice, quiet meal. With party hats. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's not a hat. It's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please. Party hats? Yes. Because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Peppa, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voila, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a mussel cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable sug. Um, I think I might try the, uh, strained carrot on a mussel cough. Uh, cream of sweet for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish. Uh, same again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please. Spaghetti. Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Peppa, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, creme of sweet, dried fish, and for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese! Balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. 
Marvelous. Lovely. Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grandpa Big. Blow out the candles, Grandpa. <sighs> Hooray! Birthday party music, please. <laughs> This is such fun! <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 